Hey gang, it's Pirate Larry and welcome to Rat Fink TV. Recently I saw one of the coolest things. It was the 50th anniversary of the Zingers display at the Detroit Autorama. Now I had built these things when I was a kid so I knew what they were and seeing them in person though, um, I don't know if I ever saw them you know, back in the day. I, I don't think I did, but I did build the kits. And, and the Zingers were these far out cartoonish creations that had hand-built half-scale bodies, but with crazy full-scale chromed-out engine and wild outlandish proportions. I mean, they look like something one of Big Daddy's monsters would be driving right down Main Street, USA somewhere. And much like Ross T-shirts the decade before, they caught on with the American people, especially the kids and enthusiasts, and they just couldn't get enough of them. Um, how it, and how it all started was a young guy named Dennis Johnson from Cleveland, Ohio, entered a model car contest at the 70 Detroit Autorama. And he built this cool little creation, this little car, uh, but he used a 143rd scale plastic model kit, but he substituted the engine and the wheels from a much bigger 125th scale kit. And as a result, the stance and the overall look of this little machine was just awesome. And everybody that saw it dug it. I mean, it was it was cool. Especially the the sponsors of the contest was the folks at Mo, at the model company MPC, and they they knew right away that if they made a line of kits that looked like it, it'd be a hit. So indeed, they did build a line of kits, and they uh, cr created uh, this far out, wild looking bunch of little models called the Zingers. And at the time, MPC was, was one of the big players in the plastic model kit business. I mean, uh, there was a few of them out there, Ravel, Monogram, uh, Aurora, and MPC was one of the big ones. And they were kind of known for their three-in-one kits that gave the builders an option to customize their creations, you know, with a, a, extra, extra wheels, tires, motors, different accessories. And the Zingers were just a perfect fit for them and they were easy to manufacture and to promote. And for the kit builder and the enthusiast, they were not only pretty inexpensive to buy, but they were really fun and super easy to build. And they made eight designs in the line. The little red zinger, a dune buggy, a 57 Chevy, a van, a dragster, a Corvette, a VW Beetle, and even an 18 wheeler. And MPZ sold these kits as fast as they could make them. Now, here's where the story to me gets real interesting and really cool. MPC goes and asks legendary car show promoter, uh, Bob Larrabee, if they could build full-size versions of the Zingers and tour them across the country on the show car circuit through Bob's company, Promotions Inc. And you know, Bob was over ISCA and all the show, all the car shows that were going on across the country, and Bob even detail Bob Larrabee details all of it in his recent book Hot Rod Dreams, and it's a really awesome book. You ought to go check it out. So Bob immediately agrees, and they commission Chuck Miller to build four of the vehicles, and Steve Tansy to build the other two. And Bob also agreed to prepare a special truck and uh, trailer to haul everything around. Uh, and and it would be he said that it'd be painted up and lettered and look like a big rolling billboard and that's what they did and once they were all completed the whole display went on tour for the 71 show season and man it was a huge success the people just lost their mind and went crazy and they could not believe how cool these little little cars were so MPC went on to sell you know millions and millions of kits and Bob Larrabee was able to regroup, you know, from his share of it. It, it more than covered his investment in the project. So it's a win-win for, for, for the model company, for the promoter, and the fans and the builders. And as a side note, Chuck Miller said that, that the Zingers were, were great fun to build but weren't meant to run or even sit in. You might say they were a full-size, very expensive engine stands. So I thought that was kind of funny. But you know what? Whatever they were or are, everybody loved them back then, 
and from the reactions I saw of the crowds around the around them at the 2022 Autorama, they still are loved today, 50 years later. Well, folks, I, I hope you enjoyed our take on the Zingers, and thank you for watching. And remember, always think, think, and I'll see you down the road.